All right, we're on to example one, and example one says that the bill includes 10% GST. So this bill for uh, $361.44 includes the GST already added on. How much GST is he being charged if he pays the full amount without a discount? Now, when we say without a discount, we mean he's got to pay the full $361.44. Uh, we mentioned a discount in earlier examples. Okay. So what a lot of people do is they make a really big mistake. They think, oh, this is a really easy question. And they just calculate 10% of $361.44 and, and they think they've found the GST. But this doesn't work. Okay, and I'll explain why. What you need to understand is when they um, when they add GST on, they have like a, um, a price. So we'll give that a question mark with a dollar sign. So they had an original dollar value and they added 10% to that value, which then gave them $361.44. So you actually need to find 10% of this number that you don't actually know. All right, which is why this question is difficult, challenging. And I have a method for working this out, and the the method um, was given to me by a math teacher named Stuart Palmer, um, and I find it really useful. And it involves four boxes, uh, three numbers, and two arrows. So we draw our four boxes, and our three numbers are going to be um, this. So what what I'll do is I'll write our dollar amount, 361.44, here, and I'll put my question mark up the top. So the question mark represents the original amount before GST, and down here is the price including GST. So if you think of what the original amount is, I'm going to write it's actually 100%. 100% represents kind of the original price or value of something. And then we added 10% on top of that. So when we included the GST, it bounced up to 110% of the original price. Okay. Notice that the 110% lines up with the price including GST and the 100% lines up with the original price without GST. Okay, now that's our three numbers and four boxes and now we need two arrows and uh, done this wrong actually. I'll, arrows need to go in reverse direction like this. Okay, now what you do, um, once you've got your two arrows, you look at the arrow that has a number on each. How do I get from 110 to 100? And this in, in, involves either multiplication or division. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two numbers, 110 and 100, and I'm going to go, um, because the arrow goes up, I'm going to go 110 divide 100. And I'm going to get a number from that. 110 divide 100, and it's going to give me 1.1. Okay, now I'm going to write divide 1.1 here next to my arrow, and you will notice if you go 110 and divide it by our 1.1, you will get 100. Okay, so we're trying to figure out what we're going to divide or sometimes times by to go from one number to the next. Now, if we divide by 1.1 on the left side, we're going to divide by 1.1 on the right side as well. So what do we get when we do that? 361.44 divide 1.1 gives me um, $328.58 if I round it to the nearest cent. Okay, so now I've actually was able to figure out the original uh, amount. Okay, so um, to answer question C, we need to find 10% of our $328.58. So we're finding 10% of the original price before the GST was added. And that's found by going 10 divide 100 times 328. 0.58, which is $32.86 when we round it up.